Hello, this is Paul Cole with Super Gen Products Tech Line Videos. Today we're going to be doing the Champion 2800 inverter, which is also the same in, in the, uh, as the 3400, all the way up to the 3400. And this one uh, we're putting on our Lazy Man's Oil Drain Kit. Uh, we provide that at a very low cost and it makes it very handy to change your oil. So um, we're going to do an installation for that and that way you can relate to what you need to do when it's time. Uh, without having to take your existing oil out, we recommend you prop it up here so the oil goes to the other side of the generator. Okay. And by doing that, we don't have to worry about spilling any oil. Now, this particular Lazy Man's oil drain, as you'll see here, has a 10 millimeter thread and a 12 millimeter socket bolt head on the uh, fitting. On the other end, it's got a blind plug. The thread is not used on this model. It's used on one of the other ones, our clamp uh, that we use on the tubular frame. But by re relaxing the spring clamp, you can pull this plug out and it's a solid plug, or we'll call it a blind plug, that prevents the oil from flowing out when you're, not or when you're using the generator. So anyway, right now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the, the drain bolt. That happens to be a 12 millimeter socket to do that, so we're going in right at the top, the drain bolt is right along the edge of the crankcase, break it loose, spin out the drain bolt. You won't have to use the drain bolt again, because you're replacing it with a different fitting. So then we put our fitting up in there, and just rotate the hose right in place. A little bit of doing to get it started. Once it starts, it'll thread right in the hole. Well, you know, actually, the easiest way I found to do it is to slide the clamp up and then pull the fitting off of the hose and take a deep socket, and you can generally pull the uh, Put it right over the fitting. Those things are holding there pretty good. If you have a difficulty or want to do it that way, take the hose and put it under the hot water faucet for a few seconds and soften up the hose. The fitting will slide right out. Then you can thread it right in with a deep socket. I'm going to continue doing it the conventional way where it just threads in. There we go. Once you get to start threading, you can just kind of screw it right in place. And once it's all the way in there, simply uh, tighten it with a 12 millimeter open end wrench. A couple turns. You don't have to get crazy with it, but make sure it's seated. The O-ring will do the sealing. Should be no leaks once you put it in place. Okay, I'm going to slide the clamp back down. As you can see, I can't even get the hose off <laughs> once it's been assembled. And then slide the uh, Bring clamp down over the barb fitting. There you go. Done deal. That's the long and short of it. Now to drain the oil, the only thing you got to do is slide this uh, spring clamp down the hose a little bit, as you see, and pull this blind plug out. And there you are. This little notch in the uh, chassis on the 3100s makes it handy just to set the hose there and drop it in your pan. And once we take this prop down, the oil will drain right out. Once you're through, put the plug back in. Make sure your spring clamp is over the barb fitting. 
or over the end of the hose where it seals and then just simply lay your hose right back up into the bottom of the chassis. No problem. That will sit there nicely. You'll find your life a whole lot easier bringing that outside of the chassis five or six inches and draining it into a pan. No mess in the, in the uh, chassis pan. And that's one of the calls we get periodically is that people <clears throat> spill oil in the chassis pan and as it finds its way through the little uh, grooves and drain holes, they think they have an oil leak, which they don't. These engines are just about bulletproof when it comes to oil leaks. Rarely ever see an oil leak with one. So make sure you don't make a mess. And that's what the Lazy Man's Oil Drain helps you avoid. Now, the other thing is, you know, a lot of people make this mistake. When they're checking the oil, they screw the dipstick in. That is a no-no. If you look on the dipstick, you'll see it says, check oil unscrewed. Very critical. Because if you reach into the oil, the length of the threads, Whoa, sorry. you end up, you end up, uh, having a borderline low oil level and very soon it's going to shut the engine down because it's using enough oil to get to that point much quicker, especially during break-in. It's important to check your oil at least every eight hours during break-in. Okay, and then when you check it, just set it in, pull it out, and up to the top of the little X's, the oil should cover. If it doesn't, you need to add oil. Once you've done that and you've got your oil level checked, you're good to go. And then just snug it up with your fingers. I think you'll enjoy the Lazy Man's Oil Drain, and uh, you can find it on our website, supergenproducts.com, in the accessories column. And uh, also, uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new tech bulletins as they come out, tech videos, and our uh, subscription address is www.youtube.com backslash user backslash supergen products. Thank you very much. Okay.